Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Well, it is going to be Friday Fragrance Review Night, guys. I hope you're ready. So if you caught me last week, you guys know we are going to do another fragrance that I got when me and my husband and father-in-law went to Branson. So this is going to be the Temptation Oud. This is what the box looks like, guys. Very, really pretty box. Very, really pretty. Very pretty box. I really like how it looks. So, very nice. And then I'm going to show you guys the bottle. Now, the bottle is the star of the show. Now, since we are ending Halloween, this is still like, it looks like a vampire's potion. But it is really a pretty bottle, guys. So let me go ahead and show you guys the bottle. I absolutely love it. This is the bottle for the Temptation Oud. As you guys can see, it has got this really pretty ombre effect from like black to like this blood red. Absolutely love it. I think it's beautiful. It's really nice on a perfume tray too. Now the only thing is you can't see exactly how much you've used because it's so black up here. But if you flip the bottle over, you can see I actually kind of went in <laughs> this week with it. Um, as you guys know, I am a heavy sprayer. And this fragrance was absolutely amazing. I just really love it a lot. It smells so good. It's really pretty. If you guys are a big fan of Ariana Grande's Cloud or Baccarat Rouge 540, this is pretty close to what that smells like. I think this one, though, as far as Cloud, because I do own Cloud, I think this one is a little bit more along the line of a most, more smoky scent. We have a visitor here. Who's my visitor? Get your butt in here. My munchkin, everybody wants to know where she is. She's been here, she's had one of me in the review. You never call me. You shouldn't have to call you, you hear my voice. <laughs> you hear my voice. Yeah, well, I prefer the call. You need to pay, pay the call. <laughs> anyway, if you want, you can stay here, honey. What do you think of this bottle? You like this? I'm telling them about the bottle, the Temptation Oud bottle. What do you think of it? I like it. You think it's pretty? Yep. What does it look like to you? Kind of looks like it's fading from like black ombre, to the red, yeah. Ombre. Yeah. Does it look like a vampire's spell, like a vampire's blood bottle or something? It does. Isn't it? I love it. It's just so pretty. I just love the ombre effect, guys. Um, black and red looks really pretty on this bottle. The gold writing is really pretty, too. I'm not trying to get it too much there, but hopefully you guys can see that okay. Um, I love it. I love it a lot. This perfume is beautiful. This is a big... What is this? This is a 3.3 ounce bottle, so it is 100 milliliters. If you guys are curious about that, it is a big bottle. I just, I really like this. As I was saying, this smells like um, Baccarat Rouge 540 and Ariana Grande's Cloud. And it also smells like something from, in the, from Bath and Body Works, which is this guy right here. It also smells like in the stars. So if you guys are curious about what this smells like, it smells like all three of these fragrances. I think though, in my opinion, this between this and in the stars, I think this one has a little bit more of a musky, like spicy note. I know in the stars has some musk too, but I think this one, it actually has a lot more smoke in it. I don't know where the smoke is coming from. Probably when I get into the notes, I'll find out where the smoke is, but it is really smoky um, in the first couple sprays, but it will go away. So anyway, now that I've showed you the beautiful bottle, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys what are the notes in this fragrance. So the top notes of this are saffron for a balsam, heart notes are jasmine, bois de oud, and cure, and the base notes are caramel, mousse, and umber. So those are the notes that are in this. And this fragrance is definitely going to be one of the ones that perform better in the colder season, so definitely fall winter time. Um, I think spring summer might be a little bit too spicy, too smoky for that particular time. So definitely, in my opinion, this is definitely going to be a fall winter appropriate fragrance. Now, the fragrance lasting hours on this is actually quite good. I would spray this on my skin and I would also spray it on my work shirts. And doing that, you would get at least five to six hours longevity. And the projection was actually pretty good too. Um, projection is anywhere from light to moderate. It's not going to be headache inducing, but you will definitely get fragrance um you will definitely get your compliments i've got like four or five compliments this week wearing this fragrance so this fragrance was a very nice crowd pleaser but you guys know that baccarat rouge cloud and in the stars pretty much everybody likes those fragrances and this is definitely no different um but this is just it's it's just different i don't hear a lot of people i've never seen a review on the temptation Oud by diana diane castell i've never seen a uh, fragrance review for this so I think I am the first one to do that so if you guys are curious about what this smells like 
this is going to be the review for you. Um, best time to wear this fragrance. This fragrance actually I think would be better suited for the evenings, but for the sake of the review, I wore it all day and the evenings for my shifts at work, but this is definitely going to be a fragrance I think would be during the nice evening time would be really nice. Um, if you're going out to dinner, if you're going to go do maybe not some regular shopping, but maybe just some Christmas shopping or something fun like that, this would be a nice one. But I would definitely say during out to the dinner time, dinner time, I think a movie would be good and date night would be really nice for this fragrance too. Um, so I think that would be really nice for this. And it's just beautiful on a perfume tray, guys. I absolutely love this. I think it would, it's just really pretty on a perfume tray like on a glass perfume tray, like the, the mirror perfume trays are really pretty. I think this one would be really nice. Um, so my conclusion for this fragrance, as far as the packaging, it is getting a 10 out of 10 because I'm absolutely in love with this bottle. So it's getting a 10 out of 10 for the packaging. As far as the performance and projection is what really you want out of fragrance. I'm going to go ahead and give this a 6 out of 10. It's not the best, but it's sure as hell not the worst. So it's a 6 out of 10. I really like it, but with all the stuff that I have that's so similar to this fragrance, I don't need another backup bottle, but it is beautiful, so I am nonetheless very happy to have this in the collection. So yes, that is The Temptation Oud by Diane Castell. So I hope you guys like the review for that one. Those are my thoughts on it too. All right, so um, this next week's fragrance that I we're going to start on Monday, I had, again, my coworkers. Um, I gave them two cho I give them a choice of two different fragrances. I gave them a choice of the Cupcake Swirl by I think Body Fantasies or Body Ecology something. I found this um, a small one in Dollar General. I'm still trying to find the big one. I've looked at Walmart. I haven't looked at Walgreens or anything like that, but I am on the hunt still for the big one. But it, I did give them a choice between the Cupcake Swirl and Fairy Tale from Bath and Body Works. I'm going to show you guys this little thing and you will know what they chose. So with a vote of two and a vote of six. So the winner of next week's fragrance review is going to be, again, it's going to be a fragrance from Bath & Body Works. It's going to be Fairy Tale. So that is going to be the fragrance that I will be starting to do. Next week, I am going to do the Bath & Body Works Fairy Tale, and I'm really excited to, to wear this because I have yet to wear this. The first item I ever got in this was I got the small size of the fairy tale because I didn't know how I was going to feel about the um, full size and actually smelling and spraying the small one I actually fell in love with the full size so I got the full size body lotion in it as well as the full size fine fragrance mist so this is going to be next week's fragrance guys if you guys are wanting to know what my thoughts are and opinions on the Bath and Body Works fairy tale stay tuned and you will definitely know what I think of this fragrance alright guys and as always please feel free to rate comment and subscribe and I will see you guys next Friday for the Bath and Body Works fairy tale fragrance review guys I love you bye